Accelerate the port fast. Accelerate the port. The port. Go, 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 go. Both reverse. Both reverse. Okay, the wind is now on our starboard st port stern. Okay. So, what part of the boat do you want on what part of the dock? Okay, neutral. See what the wind's going to do to us. I don't like to be trapped, so I would either like to be all the way at this end, or preferably I'd like to be all the way to the upwind side over there. Okay, neutral. And just wait and see what the wind does to us. So if this is good practice, our bow thruster took a dive on us. Do we have uh, uh, fenders out? No, we don't need fenders because we're going to land against those pilings. And that's okay against yep. wood Yep, we have a rub rail, okay. especially for that purpose. Neutral. Just wait for the wind. I do port forward, straighten us up, okay. So with your port and starboard engines you can go forward and back, forward and back to keep the boat parallel to the dock so that when we kiss the dock we'll kiss in two points instead of one point. Uh, starboard reverse, neutral, and we're going to parallel the boat and we went backwards a little bit. Starboard reverse. Are we okay just floating in or no? Yeah, starboard reverse. We want to touch two pilings at the same time. Okay. We got that piling right back there by the dinghy davit. Come over here and take a look. Come over here and take a look. So you're going to kiss one, two at the same time. One, two. One. Two. Nothing happened. Okay. Now the wind's going to hold us here. So how are you going to get us off of the dock? I'm going to go check these. No, we're not going to use the thruster. Okay. Nope, let's working. forget it. We'll leave it on in case we need it, but let's plan not using it. So I'm going to go uh, port reverse. Oh, before you do that, what's the whole plan, not just the piece? Hold plan? The whole plan. Well, hold plan is to tie up. Well, here's my idea. Don't do it yet. See that last piling over there? Yeah. If we use our rub rails and we back our boat about 30% to 50% onto that piling, we can use that as a pivot point, like a seesaw or a fulcrum. And then we can bend the boat around the piling. And once we get the stern over there, the bow will be over there and we can go straight into that area. So that's, this is good practice without the bow thruster. So tell the girls our plans. Okay, we're going to back up around and then bend around this last piling and use it kind of as a fulcrum to turn the boat and head back up. Yeah. Okay. Rudder straight. Yep. Okay. Bump is in reverse and neutral. So they're watching to make sure we're not getting hung on anything. Are you watching to make sure we're not getting hung up on anything? Now the wind will help push the stern over that way. It's in neutral. It's in neutral. We had that one fender that was a booger that was hanging Oh, out. that we still have overboard. Okay. So there's the piling right there. See it? Yep. Port reverse. Only the port reverse. Pointy dock sticking out there, too. Oh, yeah. He's not going to be able to... Starboard forward. Pointy dock sticking out. Okay. Yep. That's okay. We can put the stern of the boat over there. Port reverse. Let's go. Port reverse. Starboard forward. Starboard forward. Okay, port neutral, port forward, 
go straight. I can't tell you how easy that was. That was easy. No bow thruster, but you've got to keep an eye on what's behind you back here. But you've got to keep in mind, whenever you dock, you want to plan your escape before you land. Because if you go in an easy spot and then somebody else docks in front of you and docks behind you, you're trapped. So you want to pick the escape zone. But that was easy. No bow thruster required.